The Bondage of the Will by Martin Luther. Argument 7. Free will has no value because works have nothing to do with a man's righteousness before God. For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. For what saith the Scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Romans chapter 4, verse 2 through 5. Now I will follow through with Paul's arguments in Romans chapter 4, verse 2 and 3. For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. For what saith the Scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Paul does not deny that Abraham was a righteous man. The whole point is that this righteousness did not earn him salvation. No one disagrees that evil works are not acceptable to God. That is obvious. The argument is that not even good works make us acceptable to God. They merit his wrath, not his favor. In Romans chapter 4, verse 4 and 5, Paul sets a man who works over against a man who does not work. Righteousness, which is acceptance with God, is not accounted to him who works, but to him who does not work, and instead trusts in God. There is no halfway position.